Hello everyone, good morning and welcome back to our channel again. I'm Eduardo Gulpan and in today's video guys, I'm going to show you the second version of my searching while typing. Let us start. By the way guys, this is my sample data, the product list. Let us close this and then let us create a query guys. So create and then query design. I'll close this. I prepare to drag and then I will bring down all the fields. And let us say, okay, then save. I rename this to Q product list. Okay, let us say. So it's the same. Then now let us create a continuous form, guys, using this query. So click this and then go to create and then go to more forms. Then select this multiple items. By the way, let us close and okay close to have bigger space then um, i have to adjust and also this one i have to adjust and then make it center for the unit of measure okay okay i think this is enough for the spacing and then for the height Sorry. Okay. And then I will remove this one. And then I'll put it at the top. And then I'll put color black. And I will remove, guys. Um, the the underscore okay also this one the selling price and the last is the markup okay and let us check guys okay this one now let us remove this one and also the spacing or the padding so click here and then go to property sheet and then for the record selector let us find it so let's put no and then uh, by the way highlight all the text box and the fields and then for the padding where's the padding okay let's put zero 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 and let us drag at the side and then okay we'll put it okay adjust and also this one let us say okay let us close this f then guys next is we will create a blank form okay blank form and then okay i'll go to the property sheet and then i'll put yes and then for the record selector no because we don't have records to select and also navigation buttons no records to navigate and it should be auto center and then what else the scroll bar no or neither okay this one then um, I have to add some code this is for the maximize when it's open so do cmd that maximize this is on load event guys okay let us check ok automatically maximize and then I will save search form and now I will add guys the search form or the product list I mean product list ok then close this uh, take out and I have to adjust and 
find here okay let us see so we will add guys the anchoring okay right click then anchoring and then we will select select the streets down and across okay by the way let's okay put at the top let's try okay this one guys so the sub form the product list automatically adjust and then now let us add guys the search sticks okay so let's put it here okay let's put search and then I will put search Okay, let's try. Okay, something like syrup, but there's no code yet. So let's add, guys, a, another text box. This is for dummy. Let's put dummy in her dummy text. Let us put the code guys um, click here and then go to on change event on change three dots code builder and here we go so let's type me that dummy this one guys dummy equals me that search that text okay so let's check. So for example, olive. Oh, as you can see, guys, olive and also in the dummy olive. Let's put a. Okay, this one. So this one, the value of the search form also reflected in the dummy text. Now, let us um, add, guys, the criteria. So click here with this one and then go to data and then um, product list shape if to then let's put keywords let us add guys this one so this uh, we will search this the item code item underscore code then item description we will include it What else? Um, unit of measure. And also the um, category. So, this one. And also we will include the supplier. So, close. Okay. Let's see. Okay, this one. Keywords then. We will add, guys, the... Um, the criteria so no need to memorize guys because uh, we will use the builder okay so let's put here or let's click the the name of the form and then go to forms and then loaded forms loaded forms meaning this is open and this one guys I we will use this search form and then let us select the dummy text and then let's put the wildcards like asterisk okay and okay so click ok then close save so search form okay for example syrup why it's not working it's not working guys because we have lacking code okay let's click this and go to on chains click these three dots we will add the name of the sub form is 
if product list. So let's type me that if product list that requery. Second one, okay. Now let's check. Close. So for example, syrup. Okay, syrup. Then um, this one beer. All the beer. Okay. And what if supplier A? All supplier A. We will put it here. Okay, supplier A. So. Now guys, let us add, before we end this, let us add a command button to clear the uh, search sticks. So cancel this, then clear. Okay. Then I'll put a code. This is just a simple code. Okay. Me that search equals, okay. Null then me that dummy same equals okay and then me that if product list that requery okay so let's try okay clear okay so for example supplier itch let's put it here okay and then when we clear it and if we type, for example, um, coffee, okay. So this is really a searching while typing. And then let us clean the form. Let us hide this. So visible, no. And then for the rest of the design, guys, it's up to you. So I hope this video helps you a lot and if you like this video please click like and guys if you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe that's all guys thank you and see you in my next video